Gemini and Libras. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. So, Aquarian, um, go check out the um, go check out the um, uh, love energy, the general love energies. Okay, and see what is coming up for you guys. In order to see the extended of these readings, um, you have to be a member of my channel. Oh, 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 all right. I really need some new love cards. I'm just so bored with these. <laughs> I am just so bored with these. It's like I have seen all of these. So, Aquarians, what is happening in love for you, Aquarians? What is happening in love for the Aquarians in January? So, Angels of Love, Universal Angels, and Guides, Archangel Raphael. I want to say thank you for being back, you Aquarians. Let's see what's coming up for you guys. Alrighty. Hmm. So Aquarians, January. So Aquarians, some of you are going to definitely go in dating. That is good. I see blocks um, with you guys who are dating. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the women are going to be blocked. It's as if uh, there is no, I'm, and this is destined, okay? So it's as if... Uh, there are obstacles for some of you with dating. I see some of you are just um, choosing to be with yourself and think about it. I see the energy of a young person, whoever this young person is, um, you young men could be blocked, okay? So if you're feeling, I see um, dating, some of you could be um, meeting someone and this is going to become a union. And it could be a spiritual union and it was destined to be, okay? So um, there is a lot that is going on, especially with dating. So this could be singles who are going to be meeting new people and it was destined to be. So this is really wonderful. It's really um, a wonderful um, month for you guys. I see some of you want freedom, freedom maybe from a relationship or freedom from... Um, you know you could be you could be really um in like you know whatever is happening and transpiring it's as if you have been so um caught up in a certain aspect of your life okay because i'm seeing especially you ladies some of you ladies um single ladies do you know it's time to get out I, you know get over what has been transpiring and happening because i see that some of you single ladies are really taking things serious i see some of you young men wants to get married because you feel as if this is a spiritual connection spiritual connection not twin flame or soulmate you just think that this person you have a spiritual connection with this person okay so I see some obstacles is coming up and we're definitely going to be looking and seeing where are these obstacles coming up, okay? Because obviously there are some obstacles for you young men. It's as if you want to um, connect with someone. So I see expressing love. I see some of you are going to be coming in this month expressing love and it says go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So, you know, if some of you have met someone and uh, you have been seeing this person for some time, you want to know whether or not it's going to be taking off to the next level, go ahead and uh, um, make the romantic gesture, okay? Just go ahead and make the romantic gestures, whatever is going on, whatever is transpiring. So that's what you're coming in the month. Some of you are thinking, because some of you are, are dating and you singles you know you ladies you gotta um get up and start moving because you're just there just wondering some of you have been dating for a while and i think it's now divine timing divine timing is in work for you singles this is what they're saying to you so some of you um singles because i see you very worried and just looking and wondering when it's going to be happening divine timing divine timing is at play for you singles 
um, I see some of you young men wants to get married wants to be connected um, some of you are dating and I see a blockage and an obstacle and this blockage and obstacle has to do with uh, um, you need to um, an art to art conversation with who you're dating okay because I don't think that some of you are being completely honest with who you're dating definitely I see marriages coming up so some of you young men could be getting married the symbol of marriage is here and I see it's um, some of you young men could be getting married or thinking about getting married now there are dating romantic feelings you are real and ready to explore go and explore singles go and explore it's going to be a month for you guys to go and explore when it comes on to dating just go and explore whatever is happening I see some of you are dating people out of your own race or out of your own culture and this could be um, this was destined to happen there is no question about it it was really destined to happen as you leave the month I you know the it is coming up that it is safe for you to love so a lot of you are going to be meeting new people into this month and it's really coming up that is safe for you to love so open up your heart because someone is going to be coming in and so it's a some of you as um ask the universe to bring in this person because it was destined to happen and this person is connected to you spiritually so whoever this person is and whatever is happening I see someone that was connected to you spiritual some of you are going to be meeting this person this person could be from another race or cultural background then I see codependency is happening addiction or affecting a your relationship codependency is happening addiction could be affecting your relationship especially for the women who are um, um, you know like um, you your house mothers um, that sort of a thing um, I see children is coming up so I see some of you young men are going to be getting married and I see definitely that um, you're going to be getting your wife um, pregnant I see pregnancy coming up for you guys in this month so be aware I see new babies is also going to be born for you guys in this month unrequired love is here and um, there is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep a relationship going so some of you are in a relationship and you're wondering why isn't it happening why is uh, the intimacy in my relationship It's because the attraction is not there anymore to keep this um, relationship going and it's going and it, you know it was destined to happen um, because I think that some of you saw it coming up and didn't want to really open up I see that some of you are going to be meeting someone very special in this month whatever and however this person is coming up whoever this person is I see this person is very very um you could be ending up marrying to this person because I think this person was sent in your life for a reason okay so this is going to be good so I see a lot of uh, you or you know in marriage that the, the you know the chemistry isn't there anymore and some of you are dating peoples and that's basically the same thing um that is happening so be aware of what is transpiring in um your world because um some of you um i see um that um some of you are definitely going to be meeting someone and it was destined for you to meet this person and this person is coming up as someone who uh, comes from a different culture or background some of you in the dating circle wanted a new start with someone you were seeing but I don't see this new start is coming up basically because some of you are not expressing the way you feel about this person and I think that this person is as if uh, they don't understand what is happening i see some of you families could be um there are issues um where because of uh, um there are so much 
issues in the family i don't see um you're connecting with your partner and that is affecting most of you um in this month and i think you guys really need to have a heart to heart talk okay for singles i see that you singles feel as if you know there's no one in this world for me when am i going to be meeting someone what is really happening and you need to get out of that because sometimes it's good to wait and don't rush into relationship if you just ended up a relationship let it go let things roll by i see a lot of you um are having some real strong romantic feelings for someone you're dating um but it's as if um you have these feelings but it's not going anywhere okay so you're dating someone and they're not trying to make the effort to, to get intimate with you um i see some of you um men out there was open um to get married um you really love this person you really want to be with this person you were open to get married to this person but you're not really sure um what is really happening okay i see a lot of you have burdens especially people who are um dating intercultural or multicultural people um and it has to do with some of you are picking up some unrequired love and it's as if you need to meet these people and realize that they're not meant for you okay and, and sometimes that is it i see some of you are going to be finding out some lies and deceptiveness about your your wife or husband okay some lies and deceptiveness so some of you are going to be finding out um that your partner has been lying for quite some time okay so if you're in a marriage definitely because if you notice um these have have to affect uh, there's an effect with people who are married that some lies and deceptiveness is going to be coming out okay so um some of you are connected to someone however this is playing out in your life you're going to be um realizing that this person your wife or your husband has not been very honest and this is going to be coming out this person has not be very honest okay this connection has not been very honest so I see a lot of gossip is coming up and you know you ladies stay away from this gossip and um it could be gossip but it could be um a um positive uh, um conversation okay i see some of you ladies could be helping your friends to get out of a rut okay really i see a spiritual connection is coming in and this is spiritual connection all right so it has nothing to do with soulmate or twin fame they're just spiritual connection that is coming in and what is transpiring here with the spiritual connection it is good but i also see that uh, there is um unrequired love unrequired love is when you realize that the person you're in this relationship with is not being quite honest with you and it's as if you're wasting your time with this person because this person is not being very honest so you you have to be aware who and how you open up your heart um because i see that the marriage people are going to be finding out that your partner hasn't been very honest and it's going to be hurting for some of you some of you are really um some of you singles are need to let go of that there is no one out there if you don't get out there you can't know if there is no one out there okay so i see the potential that you singles are sitting there and thinking there is no one out there I see whatever the gossip was it's just going to be coming to an end i see some of you your girlfriends is going to be trying to get you out there in this month okay i see that some of you were meant to meet um an aries a leo or a sagittarius and whoever this person is and whatever the situation is i see it was destined as, as if you both were destined to meet and this but I see that some of you are having unrequired love from from this person. 
I see some of you are trying to balance out yourself and trying to express love. Okay. And it's as if um, some of you came over cold to people, but that wasn't it. It's just because you have been hurt. And this is the reason why. Okay. So what we see coming up here also is that it's um it's safe for you to love okay so i see some of you are thinking about connecting to internet dating or so but you know it's as if you're trying to figure out is it safe is it really safe for me to do this i i would say think another time okay J just give it a, just let it go give it a chance see where it's going all right so um, don't rush into internet dating just let it go some of you um, because of family and because of you're so busy um, your your intimacy is getting a it okay so be aware of this your intimacy is definitely getting a it and then you know you singles need to shake yourself off and know that if you just sit and think that there is no one then no one will come okay so I see some of you um, have met someone. This could be um, a Capricorn. This is a spiritual connection, but I see a lot of lies and deception. So be aware of this person. This person is going to be coming in in this month, but this person um, it can be, yeah, it is a Capricorn man for um, 50 years and older, but there is some lies and um, this man is not to be trusted. So hold this person off and uh, be aware of what is transpired. Freedom. I see that some of you who are in a relationship with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man, 45 years, uh, um, 45, 50 years and older, you need to have your freedom from this person. Whoever this person is, you really need to have your freedom from this person. Alrighty. For the extended of this reading, please use the link below. Uh, remember, please share, share, share these videos. And I will speak to you um, in the extended reading. Namaste until next time.